Hey, Influence here, and today I'm going to unbox the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and superficially compare it to the Z Fold 5, uh, which has been my favorite phone ever in life. So I wasn't going to get the 6. I was going to wait since I still love this phone. But I said, what the hey? Uh, they had a bunch of good deals. Samsung always got good deals in the beginning <laughs> when you first pre-order. I mean, granted, good deals, what, you're still paying for essentially what is probably the same phone. You don't got to upgrade every year like me. Don't be stupid. Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe. I appreciate the views. Influences interest on YouTube. I'm glad they took a page from other manufacturers and had these easy open and I got the blue which is great I've never seen this yellow sticker before I hope this is something new maybe uh, quality control or a, I hope this is a new phone in the box you get the phone the phone already looks uh, different it feels different then the five it's a little more square to me uh yeah a little more square it looks like it's a little bigger it's supposed to be a little bigger it is the bezels it's like three millimeters bigger the screen so it makes it seem a lot bigger i don't know i'll compare it in a minute let's get the false first fold out the way really nice it's definitely square more square than that phone peel this off yeah the screen just says impressive without it even being on it's a little easier to open i suspect that's by design this phone was really hard to open especially i mean you're not going to use this phone with one hand but if you're trying to open it with one hand and look, it's a little, this phone is a little easier. It feels like it's maybe magnetic. And then once you open it, it's fine and it's out. But it doesn't feel flimsy. Like the hinge doesn't feel flimsy. So you still got a USB-C down here. Let me turn this on while I'm talking about it. Power button over here. Uh, volume rocker. Let's see if this got some juice should they usually have juice coming from the factory there we go samsung galaxy see the back the camera array i think the cameras are the same as the five but they do look different so you can see they're a little bit bigger camera bump not bump you see the bump is about the same can you see that yeah the bump is let me get it in focus bump is about the same but the cameras are definitely bigger the housing anyway not the actual cameras do get a USB-C to USB-C cable and you get a SIM injection tool and some books but we know how that goes Samsung put the brick in the damn box I understand I I just I it rubs me the wrong way for companies they're saving money on the backs of us and calling it uh, good for the environment. That's that's why they're not putting charging bricks because they it, it costs a lot, I guess, to make or maybe. And maybe that's real, but there can be other places you could cut that will help with uh, waste other than the actual hardware that somebody needs. Because who knows? And for this price, there should be a... Uh, A fast charging brick like a high intensity charging brick the most wattage that this can take yeah, that got, should be you gotta get a sim card in here and see so let's see what's uh let's compare the two phones side by side here they are side by side and yeah the the six is just a tad bit bigger you can see not much at all uh on the side 
put on the table yeah you see you see that little gap like I said not much at all but it's enough to make it seem a lot bigger so I do I do like that but again I mean it's probably essentially the same phone this screen is this screen is cleaner but <laughs> yeah and you can see the squareness the roundness over here and the squareness here it's more this is more cut off I like square phones um, I know for a while Samsung doing like the round edges and I did not like that actually I did like it at first but then it got annoying um, I like the way this feels squared up in my hand there's the hinge again let me compare these next to each other side by side like this so because of the camera bump I can't really tell uh, I can't put them face to face let me move it like this and see if I can get them a little closer yeah again reiteration the Z Fold 6 which is the blue one is a tad bit thinner it feet and it feels a little thinner got a little slit as a grill instead of the actual grill thingies um, USB-C of course got some of the same same features same look basically just revamped a little and that's all uh, I'm sure this is the fingerprint sensor but yeah so that's that's it for this phone I'm not going through and setting up everything I may do a full review I said that when I unboxed this one and never did it because I don't sometimes I you know it's not worth it when it takes a long time to do because there's so many out there that if I do take long to set this up and do everything that I need to do sometimes I might not go through with it after setting it all up all right so thanks for watching I'll get over with you Whoa. Continue holding the screen with two fingers until you hear a beep. Alrighty. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Follow me on your social media handles for more behind the scenes content. See you in the next video. You know, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.